Hello, YouTube. I'm going to make you a Friday video with ZZ Mark. Hey, buddy. Don Holden. Don How Holden. you doing, Don? Good to see you. And the Eddie Horvath. Eddie. And Don's just in for a visit. And uh, here you're looking for some bowl blanks. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to fix you up with something. And uh, Andrew's Lumber. I got, I got your shirt on there, Andrew. In fact, here I'll... There go over go. go over and check out Andrew. Uh, he's going to be in the competition, some forestry competition. Yes, it is. It and to, to get this far in it, he, uh, he's doing well. He's yeah, doing we'd well. like to wish you luck, Andrew. Absolutely. And uh, he, he announced he wasn't going to have a sawing video this week because of the competition. We'll just but put another one on. Just do, do two one week, Andrew. That's, that's just the way we work it here. So, <laughs> but... Enough of the silliness, what are we sawing for your Friday e We've video? We've got a nice size pin oak up there. Might be a little bit of stop signing. I might make we're, a stop sign. We're just going to make four quarter out of it. Yeah, we're just going to make... We uh, can't do something with it. It's going to be fairly ugly, but it'll be good stall boards or yeah, be, farm we're, grade, we're whatever. Farmers. But it might surprise us. Never well, know. And all we said, the logs are like a box of chocolates. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get until you open it up. So. Well, we won't know until we get to work. Let's get going. All right, let's get this show started here. And it's just a beautiful summer day. It's actually the 24th of June. It's about 82, low humidity here. And uh, you couldn't get a better, couldn't get a better day to do this. And I got a big old wasp flying around in my cab right now. I hope he's not hungry. I'm going to try to open his door. Maybe he'll leave. I think he did. <laughs> yeah, I don't like bees. Honey bees. All right. Let's open the knees up. Let's wake the dogs up from their nap. And guess what? The log is actually 8 foot 4. It's sort of an egg-shaped log. It's 31 by 30. So... We're going to try to get it on as, as gently as possible. Alright, let me open the way up here. It's sort of, it's sort of going to roll uneven a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to try to find an opening place that we can get the saw started in there. It'll sort of tell you what to do. I'm going to bump that taper out a little bit on number four. So let's get the doggies up, doggies out. Make sure we're tight against the head blocks we are. Then we're going to hit the master dog down. Bump it forward. It's not rolling down. And we're going to start there. We're just going to get a flat spot. You'll see how this works. A lot of people love these uh, stop sign videos. You just can't get too greedy on the first opening cuts. Get a stick back there, Eddie. Take your time, don't get in a hurry. All right, that was a good opening face. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it back. Repeat this process. And we're going to take, we're going to run this four quarter lumber, which is inch and an eighth off of here. I'm just making something wide enough to edge off. It's not as wasteful as you think. That'll be turned into a board. All right. 
let's do that again. settles in where it don't roll no more. And we're going to get to a magic number and a lot of people ask newer subscribers, the magic number is all it is is that the distance between, or the distance the saw will cut through. So I got to get that distance down to 22 for that saw to come through completely. We're really close now. I think that's my, my bee friend out there right now. Okay, dogs up. And I'm gonna reverse the knees a little bit. That'll get us a lot of wood off of there. Start there. And once we get to the point where we're down to 22, we're, re we're going to retract the tapers. And I think this run here will get us close enough. Be real close anyway. down to 24. We might be able to milk one more out. We're going to see. Nah, we're not going to... I don't want to take a chance of not clearing that saw. That just turns into an aggravating dream. Nightmare that is. Just clean that little bit up. So that's going to be right on my headwalk base. That's where you don't want it. That should be it. Now we're going to hopefully have a big boom. And I think Bill Ellis is wondering if I'm going to remove that taper. The answer is yes, Bill. If you're new to the channel, there's some people that uh, send normal comments. So I'm going to put, make sure that taper's all the way in. Alright, let's roll it around. There was our boom. We're gonna we're gonna still run some taper on this until we get this face. All right, let's start there. In fact, that might be a little bit too much. All right, 
Let's start there. Park up top of there. All right. All right. Now, what do we need to do, Bill? There, make some ironing boards until we get flattened out. Could have taken that in one big bite, but beautiful. There's some decently clear wood for a pin. Of. I believe this is pin. chunk of wood sitting on there. There we go, 12 and a half. We'll take, we'll lay it down here in a second. Let's cut that mark face that's up. Let's get rid of it. These are a little bit tougher to turn when they're egg shaped. And there's Mr. Laser. Let's start there. Beautiful. My favorite part of saw and just taking boards off. Give them a second. Now we got a almost a 12 by 12 on her now. Trying to get that pip centered one more time. All right, let's 
squirt the top and bottom. I'm going to try to come up with a 4x4 at the end. Sticking out a little bit. Let's uh, let's shove that back. Oh, I went two sets. That was dumb. You make rookie mistakes when you're tired. <laughs> All right. Let's trim it back up one more time here. There it is. I just happened to look out and see it sitting away. So let's true it back up. That's better. No big deal. If you have an opportunity to fix something, fix it. Alright, we're going to turn it back now. Come down to four inches. Perfectly. All right, we're going to turn it back. We're going to just make it equal. I'm not even going to adjust nothing.
we will see you here at the end. When I was just 17, I wanted to be seen in a big four-wheel drive pickup truck. But all I could afford was a beaten up two-door four. So he got her home and parked her in the yard. That old bucket of bolts, to me she ain't no joke. She gets me there and home again every time. For six long months I had to work real hard. Buying all the parts and fixing her up as best I could The exhaust started to blow So I fixed it up with a coffee can and better wire That old bucket of bolts To me she ain't no joke She gets me there and home again Every time Any long Years have passed, and that truck in it still lasts. It carried all the wood and stone to build my family a home. Somewhere along the way, the pickup box rusted away. A trip to the lumber yard, and a few feet of angle iron fixed her up right away. That old bucket of bolts. Me, she ain't no joke She gets me there and home again Every time When it's my time to go You know just what to do Put my pine box on the back of the truck Take me for one last ride To the church where I wed my bride Then plant me at the end of the road and next to all the folks I used to know and talk about all the fun we used to have that old bucket of bolts to me she ain't no joke she gets me there and home again every time When it's my time to go, you know just what to do Put my pine box on the back of the truck Take me for one more last ride to the church where I wed my bride Then plant me at the end of the road Next to all the folks I used to know And talk about all the fun we and that old time But it's my time to go You know just what to do Put my pine box on the back of the truck Take me for one last ride To the church where I wed my bride Then plant me at the end of the road Next to all the folks I used to know And talk about all the fun we used to have All right, there it is. What do you see there, Z? That's a nice pinnow. Look at those boards. Yeah, that that surprised me. And uh, that's that one there is 13 inches, or 14 inches. This one there is, I think, 13. And almost absolutely clear. So, you know, it's nice, but it yeah. it, it uh, grows fast, so it gets a lot of room in between the grain. Yeah, it's uh, except for that, that's that's beautiful. Very wood. fast grown wood. Yeah, and, this uh, this tree red, that log as big as it was was only 22 years old. Wow! And we didn't even get to use little Donnie very much. Yeah, it's not one time. Though. Yeah. Or the other day. Yeah, that that was a well behaved log there. That that log really was well behaved, and. Uh, but yeah, you can see the stop sign, there's very little waste. Yeah. And people argue that up and down, but if, if you take your time and think about what you're doing, you can turn out some nice lumber out of logs with a smaller saw blade. I don't want a top saw. 
because then you can't pass them wide boards out of there anyway. Uh, we got 22 and, uh, inches on that. Yeah, that's all we got, 22. And that means the saw will cut through it and the conveyor belt will bring it out. Anything over that, it's not going to happen. Right. So, hey, thanks for coming along for the Friday video. And uh, I think our next video, well, you're going to have a snack video coming up. And that's one more of them short logs. But I saw it on two head blocks. You'll have that coming up for the next snack. And then we're going to get into some white spruce. White spruce. So, hey, thanks again. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Bye-bye. Next to all the folks I used to know And talk about all the fun we used to have Get a boat. To me, she ain't no joke.